Well, humanity is part of the complex ecosystem and depends on nature to survive. That's according to the legendary British broadcaster and world-renowned naturalist Sir David Attenborough in a special um, conservation or conversation with the Director General of the Nigeria Conservation Foundation, Dr. Amino Mokhtari Kano, as part of activities to celebrate 40 years of the environmental organi organization's efforts to preserve the natural resources and biodiversity of Nigeria. Esther Mokpariola reports. It was a gathering of environmental enthusiasts and conservationists at the annual Chief Shafi Lawal Edu Memorial Lecture with the theme, Only One Earth. Great question. The lecture, which is the 20th edition, organized by the Nigeria Conservation Foundation, is aimed at bringing environmental issues to the fore while proffering solutions. If we don't understand how they live... In a special conversation with Sir David Attenborough, known for documenting the living world in all its variety and wonder, he believes the natural world will become uninhabitable if humanity does nothing to deal with the environmental challenges facing it. No matter what you do, or any of us can do, there will be more mangroves, I hope, in Nigeria, because you depend upon the mangroves to defend you from the sea. And if the sea level goes up, mm -hmm. it means the places where those defences are needed mm -hmm. are, are greater and more, of greater extent. Mm -hmm. also, uh, Mr. Daphne... Other dignitaries at the event shared insights towards adopting sustainable solutions from energy access to food security and climate change adaptation. So agriculture uh, is fundamental to Nigeria. How do we have climate smart agriculture that can produce more in more difficult circumstances, that can increase yields, that can help agriculture move up the value chain um, and responds to the challenge of climate change? And we, we have been working, we are working on that. Our climate action should also be nature positive, right? So things like reforestation, um, things that serve to preserve wetlands and marshlands and all of those types of uh, nature-based approaches were intended to be prioritized as part of our climate action. The NCF has started an initiative a couple of years ago called the Green Recovery Nigeria. Our aim is to take the forest cover of Nigeria from its present level of 4% to a level of 25% by the year 2047. Speakers of the past editions of this memorial lecture include late former head of state, Chief Ernest Shunikon, former president, Good Luck Jonathan, and former minister of environment, Amina Mohammed. <laughs> Esther Mokwariola, TVC News, Lagos.